All right. Time to run around, do some side quests, check out the rest of the, the slums. Mm -hmm. So again, not an open world game. So the, the map is a pretty reasonable size. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but because it's so small, it's pretty detailed. I would kind of liken it to how the Yakuza games are, where the, the city mm -hmm. is small, but pretty packed with detail. V very, very dense. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's four side quests available right now. We did one of them for Chadley. Uh, the other two only get unlocked when you complete the rest of them. Also, we go to this guy painting. I need a stamp cartoon, right? We call him Stan because he <laughs> they never give you like a actual cartoon or anything for stamp, but I'm I'm glad that they give you a little bit of the, the theme song to work with. The guy who lives over there's got a real hard on for cleanliness. Shoot this one out once before. He was really upset about the trash smell. Hey, are you a mercenary? I heard mercenaries fix roofs. Hmm. What's the big sword for? It's for hammering roof tiles together. <laughs> you were supposed to be working in Sector 8 yesterday. You told me you had an interview in Sector 1. I can't believe you were on a date in Sector 4. Uh, you took a girl out to Wall Market on a birthday date. It's another little sitcom happening over there, I think. Is it just me or are there It's like Gift of the Magi, but sad. <laughs> I think they're coming from the children's Aha, uh -huh. the man with the strange job. Do I sell stuff? Do I fix roofs? Who knows? Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plate. Enough of them move down here. Life's bound to change for the better. Look, no? look at his Keep friend with those life. dainty little legs. Yeah. Just, just wiggling his legs a bit. It looks like he's waiting for someone to ask him to dance. Yeah. By the way, the item store that we were in earlier, uh, that uh -huh. giant symbol that's its sign, that's from the original. Ah. I'm glad they kept that detail. Similar layout, but in the original game, uh, it was an old man that was sad that nobody would shop at his store anymore. <laughs> oh. So bad, you might have to close up shop. No matter your needs or your budget, Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you, the new merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? The Doom Rats! The Doom Rats! Rat the Doom Rats! Up town looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one Those rats can run Doom? <laughs> oh, Anything can run Doom. Funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. These automated lip flaps are interesting. So it's weird. There's certain parts of the game where they look pretty good, and they look the better the on the main the cast. Place. And there are some times when it looks like he's trying to eat an apple, but you cannot see the apple. Yeah. Some creepy dude who hit on me was asking all kinds of strange questions about Seventh Heaven, about Barrett and the other members of his crew. You talking about the creepy dude out of Wall Market? You know him? Girl, your eyes are more dazzling than the neon lights of the Honeybee Inn. He gave you that line too, huh? There's also some new dialogue with these NPCs talking about different areas of Midgar, and also later they'll start talking about areas that we won't even see until <laughs> further remake games. Stamp's the one who get the job done. Stamp is the official the hero of painters. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it's both painters that are singing this. Maybe they both had a, a paint near some place that was playing the song on loop? You ever take a stroll down Colbert Street? Of course not. Full of thugs and creeps, isn't it? Nah, just some sketchy stores. <laughs> and a blood stain leading up to it. Mm, I don't know if that's my thing. They really hype this street up, but it's about three shops total in a really tiny alley. <laughs> Seems a whole bunch of giant rats have been congregating in the vacant lot. Oh yeah, you've been talking to him? Non-stop <laughs> squeaking's driving me insane. Because it sounds like they've been talking to you, all right. <laughs> this game was first, you know, when they were first starting to actually talk about this game for real, 
Uh, and they said, like, there's going to be side quests. It's like, oh, I hope they don't do the, the typical RPG thing of kill some rats, but they totally did. <laughs> but whatever. The combat's still fun. I don't care. Yeah, now that there's a whole bunch of rats around, this is a good time to use that triple slash move. Yeah. So Cloud will just dash around and hit three enemies. Uh, if enemies are grouped together decently, he can hit a ton of enemies all at once. And they were all kind of packed together super close there, but Triple Slash is also like a homing move, so even yeah. if the enemies are far away from you, he will zip straight to them. I don't see any Doom Rats around. Hmm. What do you think? Should I like that Tifa's punches you know, are so fast. She's still moving at a reasonable time. pace Let's in the slow motion. <laughs> yeah. For now. So yeah, you can go back and talk to the, the shopkeeper and be like, what the fuck, there weren't any Doom Rats, but... Also, if you just go run around, do other stuff, the Doom Rats will show up on their own. They were just some normal-ass rats. I mean, I killed them anyway, but still. <laughs> you know, a lot of folks say the shops... A lot of folks do say a lot of stuff about Culvert Street. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's going on here? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Somebody about to, I don't know, do, I hope do some okay. juggling or something? What, what's what's the That's crowd all about? <laughs> what in the? Why Stay away it? from me! Hold it! <laughs> Settle down now. <laughs> Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! Uh, uh, What's going on? on? Why are you Somebody do me like went that? and stole some blast and made it from a you. Shinra warehouse. Uh, so public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not going to settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And... He's a talker. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe All right, so we him. kill Johnny. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. He needs to get his act together. When I said, okay, in a previous episode, there may be more similarities to other things we've done than I originally thought. It's a new franchise, but we also have a completely brand new dumbass named Johnny to to <laughs> love. <laughs> what the hell, man? You trying to break my arm? Dragging me through the street like this is. I mean, he could have been named Jeff. It's true. <laughs> Would have only been the second Jeff. It feels very concerning to see cops not only arrest somebody, then blindfold him in front of everybody. Yeah, that's very concerning. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. Johnny, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Johnny, please. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. <laughs> anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Every every conversation has to have Cloud just give a, a monosyllabic agreement. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Hey, I just learned triple slash. You want to see it? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Ow, oh, let oh. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Here we go. Dog, dog, watch out for dog. The scary dog. mutant dog. Real. He's in the daylight, too, so now you can definitely see how messed up that dog is. <laughs> <laughs> We got a new Shinra troop enemy type here. 
That dude in the red is an elite security officer. Let's do it right. When you scan enemies in this game, uh, on the left, sometimes they'll have yellow text. That doesn't become available until you scan them, and the yellow text is basically always some type of hint towards how you stagger them. Mm-hmm. Because uh, later on in the game, enemies will get uh, more involved gimmicks and in how you can get them into a pressured state to then stagger them. And assessing them is super important because it's the easiest way to figure out how to like work Let towards a stagger. Also, he's got a fucking shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Has no qualms about blasting a lady point blank in the face with a shotgun. Well, no, of course not. We're also uh, going to level her up twice with unbridled strength. And now her triangle move is this cool kick combo. So much for staggering him. <laughs> yeah. And that was her other leveled up move. So when you use a move, Tifa levels down, but not completely. So if you leveled her up twice, that triangle move goes from the, the best move down to the second move and then down to her normal uh, Shoryuken. Mm -hmm. So you can actually chain all three of those together in like a really strong combo. What now? He's a talker. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa! No, whoa, you're not gonna look. The kid said on. it was okay. Ah, uh, Chadley's that. license to kill. <laughs> you want to live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss. You ain't never gonna see my face again. I swear. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but it's fine. This is going to come up a lot, so I just want to point out that Cloud's then, eyes are naturally blue, but they're kind of funky no in that he has a little bit of green surrounding his pupils. Cloud, you're scaring me. So you're saying he's dreamy, he's is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, he's super dreamy. We need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose Well, you it's... became a soldier, mm -hmm. and then an ex-soldier. Yeah. Your eyes... They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do I now? I can't believe I was Head right about how he changed. Do you want to tackle another <laughs> job or two? Go take a nap on that bench. Make her watch you take a nap. Yeah, the, the benches. <laughs> you absolutely can do that. Uh, just like Cloud's bed, benches are places where you can, you can sit down on them and you get a full heal for free from them. There's a little logo in all the benches that is actually uh, what the old save points from the original game used to look like. Uh, Since you can just save everywhere. Yeah. There's no actual save points anymore. So this is how they, they kept that little thing in the game. And yeah, right next to uh, the bench, we got vending machines. These pop up all over the place as good little shops in areas where it would not make sense to have a store. <laughs> they only carry the basic stuff, though. You're never generally not going to be able to buy weapons or anything from them. But uh, I do like that potions are just energy drinks. So Tifa, what's it like to, to spend time with Cloud again after all these years? Well, I told him his eyes looked different, and then he just sat down for six <laughs> hours and didn't talk to me. <laughs> he didn't even say, yeah. Yeah. Also, every time I try to ask him why his eyes are weird, he just says, the Mako, and I don't, I don't actually know what that means, Cloud. <laughs> Please tell me. The Mako. The Mako. Something about the Mako. By the way, welcome, Rock Jazz. We got them both. <laughs> That's it. We got Rock, we got Jazz. What else could you need? Why would he want to just up and leave? You hear that? Is that rock? Is that jazz? Ooh. You tell me. We got them both. I think that's rock jazz. At this point, lots of people in the slums very concerned about Johnny. <laughs> Thinking he's going to get murdered. 
Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? Mm. You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. Yeah, great. This is a remix of the Chocobo theme from the Final Fantasy franchise. Uh, Chocobos, mm -hmm. for people who don't know, uh, there are no horses in Final Fantasy. If you want to ride a big animal and get around places, you ride a giant bird called a Chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> and they make noises like que, which you're hearing in this fucking goofy ass remix of the Chocobo theme. Also, one of my favorite NPCs, guy who just hangs out with a big fucking knife for no reason. <laughs> well, that's how they cut the pizza. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. He just stares at you, and he just sits here with this big fucking knife. This game is so pizza obsessed. I'm a, I'm assuming the Noid is a boss fight. <laughs> I can't wait for the secret optional super boss fight with the Noid. The Noid! He has maxed out stats and everything. He's weak to pizza, though. The Shinra president is secretly the Little Caesars guy. Oh, man. Also, my favorite graffiti, Down with Authority. <laughs> that is an album cover. <laughs> Somebody was really mad about the, the state of the world, but he didn't know how to express it in any more specific ways, so he just went generalized, down with authority. Authority. I'm not, uh, I'm not for it. I'm against it, actually. You might say I'm anti-authority. So I mentioned before, like, there are certain random parts of the game that have, are hit with some type of bug that makes textures not load or load very slowly. You're not here to shop, this dude is affected by that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he'll be a very blurry man Some when the camera cuts to him. At home in the abandoned factory. I love that everybody's talking about how sketchy the shops on the street are. And he's got a welcome sign that comes from like the Live, Laugh, Learn collection. <laughs> yeah, that's straight, that's straight up just from Walmart. <laughs> Whatever the Final Fantasy version of Walmart is. Talk to Nargen. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Yeah, there. When I played this game, there were certain things I was slightly disappointed in, and it was mainly just like, oh, I wish the lip flaps for the automated stuff looked better, or oh, I wish that door's texture would load all the way. Uh, but if that's the trade-off I have to have for the rest of the game being basically what I wanted, that's <laughs> yeah. fucking, fucking whatever. There's going to be a PlayStation 5 version later. There's going to be a PC port version later when this game's exclusivity with Sony runs out in a year. So like, fucking whatever. Yeah, the first mod is somebody adding more, like, facial muscles to the shopkeeper. <laughs> yeah. A guy I talked to twice in the game doesn't look good, but all of the major story beat cutscenes look great. Cool, whatever. I get it. Don't rush it and drop your tools. Take your time now, okay? And also, don't get electrified. <laughs> don't do that. So many of the these helpful people in the slums look like, you know, they were real bummed that IO just closed because they were this close to making a Herald team. In town. <laughs> Does this mean we'll never see him again? You know Johnny. He's just exaggerating. He'll be back before you know Man, it. everybody knows Johnny. Johnny's the most popular guy Johnny's around. Johnny's a popular dude. Also, this lady. My son suddenly told us that he was going to leave town. On the Oregon Tell Trail? He <laughs> can't survive out there on his own. He's a headstrong boy, so once he puts his mind to something, he always follows through. For better or worse, I suppose. I love Johnny's parents in this game. All right, Pilgrim's Progress, whatever. My boy up and declared he was leaving town to go on a journey. <laughs> we only live once. I say while he's young, he should follow his heart, even if it means defying the man. Playing by the rules only gets you so far. What a cool dad. Oh. I can't I believe I Laura Ingalls Wilder married a blackjack <laughs> dealer and, <laughs> and they raised Johnny. <laughs> Aren't you, Tifa? <laughs> That's my boy. I'll have to remember to tell him that when he finally comes back home. <laughs> So the original game had a pretty unique, interesting tone to it. Part of that was just because they threw everything at this game and kept just about all of their ideas in there. So, like, Johnny's parents are exactly the same as the original. <laughs> to the point that they kind of stick out because while all these other NPCs feel like modern versions of what they were in the originals, mm -hmm. Johnny's parents are torn straight out of the original game design and all those bikes are reserved for someone tonight someone important 
So make sure it's in top condition. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So this is all Avalanche's fault? The damage is still muscle reactor happening one. when all the fires out? Apparently, the attack. Sector 8 Carried Expressway collapsed. Yeah, but the train's still running. It's fine. The terrorists have a history of targeting Shinra facilities and employees. And they have declared themselves opposed to the company's agenda. They were saying Mayor there's General parts of sectors one and eight that still don't have power. Well, at least we know who to blame. If Avalanche did it, they well had to have done it for the sake of the planet. Right? Power to peace and order to our Whoa. City. You know, debates in the public square, right? <laughs> like <laughs> this is this is like democracy. Whoa. Please give me a job. Yeah. Ask your parents. I don't have any. Damn. That's life on the streets. <laughs> Street life. Street life. It's not that simple. Plus, a lot more people than usual. Yeah, and they're all a bundle. Is there a side quest for like listening to the most uh, uh, conversations and you're just trying to rack up the score <laughs> at, before you unlock it? Look, there's way more that I'm somehow still missing despite the fact that I'm taking a leisurely pace through this spot. <laughs> it is ridiculous. But yeah, coming back closer to where the, the train station was, mm -hmm. uh, those guards that were out before, they're still here. For the train graveyard. Mm -hmm. How deep do you have to bury a train? Uh, I'm guessing 60 feet. Okay. <laughs> Multiply that by 10, and I think you got it. There are monsters on the plate too, right? Nope. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> the, train the wealthy should have to deal with mutant <laughs> bugs as well. Oh, this one too. I guess we hit the jackpot today. There are several varieties of killer rat. Yeah. I love the child who wants desperately wants the pipe. And his big brother, who wants the pipe, <laughs> or father, mm -hmm. actually. Out of there! I mean, that's his, his dad. If you seize the pipe, you are the rightful king of Shinra. <laughs> I heard it was Avalanche who bombed the reactor. But all they're doing is killing Midgard. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, there is a shitload of NPCs hanging around the the slums. Because actually, if we go to the train station, and we we heard this while we when we first got here uh, two episodes ago. <laughs> Uh, the trains are currently on a limited schedule because of all the shit that happened, so nobody can get to work. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just stuck trying to get to work, and none of them can fucking get on a train. You know what they can get? Steamed buns. Ooh. Still no trains? I can't Until run they run out of movies. supply because there's no trains. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, neither can I. I was coughing and sneezing the entire night. The same people from the upper plate, they're still stuck here and they're still mad they're in the slums. We can pick up both parts and sell them. Just don't go. It's too scary. We'd never make enough to get by if we did that. But yeah, there are also NPCs, like you said, uh, who are straight up just talking about like, ah, oh, fuck, we're already running out of food. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people in certain parts of the town who are just very worried about the supply chain breaking down. And I love you, my adorable honey pumpkin. Hey, there's a cat. Yeah, get that cat. That cat, that kid desperately wants to pet that cat, and he just can't quite reach. Aww. Wherever the hungry masses are, that's where I'll be. Oh, no IOUs. So we got another song we can buy. This is a, a blues version of Barrett's theme. All right, all right. Hey, there's a plant growing in a crack. Yeah. And the plant's <laughs> Hell yeah, there is. <laughs> Hell yeah, there is. <laughs> I, I predicted a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I when I talked to that lady in the food truck there, and you know, she said no IOUs. The there's lots of comments from the NPCs when you're walking around, being like, oh, I hear you're that mercenary, or what do you sell again, or hey, do you do roofs? The comments all these people make, including the shopkeepers, changes based on the amount of side quests you've completed. Oh. And it's not just, oh, you've done no side quests, and oh, you've done all side quests. It seems to change based on, like, every maybe two side quests you do. <laughs> oh, you know you want some of this, babe. I do, but... But what? But we're being watched. Huh? 
I'm flattered you want to watch, but we're not into that kind of thing. My <laughs> miles, I really need that lady was into making out in the so in a place haunted by ghosts, though. <laughs> Well, yeah, it depends on whether you have eyeballs or not. It's not about vision, it's about, like, the goo. All I can say is the whole of Shinra's railway division is working to rectify this issue. People real pissed off the trains aren't aren't active right now. Yeah. Uh, this, you have no reason to come to the train station at this part of the game, so it's super easy to miss out on all these absolutely, completely unique conversations they wrote for this specific point in time in the game. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you think the train graveyard really could be haunted? Again, people, train graveyard at the talk of the town right now. People are excited about ghosts. <laughs> well, yeah, because these people don't know Johnny. This morning to open this place up again. Fools looking to make a quick kill poking around somewhere crawling with monsters. That's salvagers for ya. Yeah, that's that's why people love the train graveyard. It's a good place for making money, just salvaging shit from trains. And speaking of trains, I almost missed out on this conversation that's very easy to miss. Mm -hmm. So there's these two kids here. Even though it doesn't tilt as much as previous models, the 131 is both faster and more stable than the others. And they're gigantic train nerds. The only rail fans in the world that are younger than 40. <laughs> yeah. The base dampening system is a major improvement. With all that swaying, it must have been terrible for people to go topside. Oh, I really, really, really want to ride the 97 at least once in my life. You can only get that feeling with older absorbers. How would you know you've never ridden one? <laughs> you are just repeating. Your brain has been poisoned by rail fans. <laughs> One of those kids is, is uh, yeah, he's only doing it because he feels he should love the trains. But he feels no chill down his spine when a train comes by and, and toots his whistle. He's just like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I should feel euphoria seeing this train go by, but... I can't believe they You're not really into trains, you just like Starlight Express, <laughs> admit it. Starlight Express, answer me yes! <laughs> is the train god real? Yes? Or no. <laughs> Anyways, before that gigantic diversion where I just want to see children talk about trains, uh, that that guy in the shop want us to beat up some flying drakes. Hell yes. Off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me. Can you describe the behavior of the dragons? Are you? The, of the drakes? In well, they, case, they started from the guess. bottom and now they're here. <laughs> I believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Reports said the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need yeah, to this dude has a name. Like, he's not an important character at all, but his name is Narjan. He does, you will pe hear people bring him up every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Uh. So just just keep Narjan in mind, the dude with the dumb fishing hat. <laughs> Fantasy punk Oakleys. <laughs> Narjan. Narjan. So some people have issues with the side quests in this game because they aren't of the Witcher 3 or Western RPG variety where they're more story based. You're generally hunting monsters in this game. Mm -hmm. um, there are some side quests later in the game that are more story focused and generally doing all the side quests in an area unlocks extra story content that you can't see otherwise. But yeah, you're mostly just finding monsters and killing them. Sometimes they're in unique areas like this where you can't get into them unless you accept the side quest. Um, and generally the rewards are more unique. Um, the side quests here at least, is you're usually just getting money or some equipment. Um, but the side quests in this area are also just more of an extended tutorial for combat. Right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, one of the bugs is on the wall right now, spitting some type of purplish red goo. Both Cloud and Tifa got hit with it earlier. So if you look at their health bars, they have a little red icon below it. That's a, uh, that's a status effect. That's poison. Well, it's a good thing we have so many antidotes. Yeah. Ah. Also, Tifa has the chakra materia that heals a percentage of the amount of damage or uh, amount of health that she has lost, and it also cures poison for free. You just have to use one ATV charge for it. Mm -hmm. Chakra is definitely a monk move from other Final Fantasy games, so. <laughs> yeah, Chakra right now, it's leveled up once already. 
It heals something like 20% or 25% of the amount of damage she's taken. So it's more useful if you use it when she's lost a lot of health. Right, right. Because it'll, it'll heal a percentage of that amount of health that she has lost. But yeah, even if you don't need it to to heal, it's good for just getting rid of poison off of her without having to use an, an item or anything. No, holding back. It's over. No surprises there. And status effects don't last outside of battle, so it's not like you're going to continue to be poisoned once the battle is finished. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm always happy when status effects work like that. It always sucks I have to pop an antidote after a fight or something. Mm -hmm. Every RPG must make that choice. As soon as you... Yep. As soon as you put in a poison status effect. You can also tell when you're... So, like... You know, poison is just damage over time while you're poisoned. Uh, you can tell when you're taking poison damage because the numbers that pop up are purple. You asked for it. Also, we've got a, a lesser Drake here. It's a baby Drake. Um, you can fight in the air. Uh, so, so you're saying this factory is hiding a child? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Drakes. Flying enemies in general can be tough to fight when you only have melee characters. There's ways around it. Mm -hmm. So Drakes, uh, if you hit them with wind attacks, they're more susceptible to being staggered. And any type of magic attack that hits them will force them to go down to the ground so that you can hit them more easily. They're weak to wind, which we don't have any wind magic yet. But basically, if you're fa I know where to get some. Ooh, yeah. Basically, if you're fighting anything that flies, it's almost always going to be weak to wind magic. Right. So also, the different magic spells all kind of work a little differently. Um, I tried to hit the Drake with ice there, but it missed him. Let's go. So the fire spell is a homing projectile. Once it makes contact, it does damage. Uh, when you cast an ice spell, it's also a homing projectile, but the way ice works is it hits the enemy once and it does a small amount of damage, then the ice crystals start to grow and then it detonates like a half second later, and that's where it does the majority of its damage. Mm -hmm. But if an enemy moves out of the way of that ice crystal that's growing, they'll just dodge the spell. <laughs> um, this makes it kind of hard to hit stuff with ice, um, especially fast moving op opponents. And some opponents that are weak to ice are fast-moving <laughs> enemies. So you kind of have to figure out other ways to make them stop to actually hit them with ice successfully. Also, super satisfying thing you do with Tifa. Uh, once you do her little uppercut move, uh, you can chain uppercut mid-air into her dive kick move. It looks really cool. Naturally, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do anything else? <laughs> I gotta think about pulling this. Oh, yep, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, there's a good amount of switches and stuff where you have to hold the button, and it's basically just so the PS4 can load stuff in time, I think. <laughs> the PlayStation 4 is an old console at this point. It's really bad at loading things. <laughs> So, so these drakes, we, we've seen they, they work with the bugs, they work with the rats. Mm -hmm. uh, did, do they ever do anything in concert with like any hawks or other birds of prey? Mm. I'm just wondering if the drakes are big fans of the raptors. I don't think there's any hawks in this game actually <laughs> thinking about it. What a shame. Won't be tough. Of course not. So earlier, I showed how Tifa's unbridled strength works, leveling up her chi, making her combo string longer, getting upgraded moves and all that. Mm -hmm. Unbridled strength doesn't just affect how long her ground combo is, it actually makes her air combo longer too. Naturally. So she does way more flips and kicks in the air if she's <laughs> her chi is leveled up. It also changes the way her deadly dodge moves work as well. Like, so far, you've seen her basically just doing a roundhouse kick out of her dodge. But if you level her up once or especially twice, she gets a whole new unique combo string just for the deadly dodge. 
one of the big benefits from Deadly Dodge is also that it's, it chains into your normal combo string, but it starts about halfway through, which is the attacks you do further into your combo string do more damage. So it's kind of a shortcut to getting to your harder hitting attacks. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Are your textures going to load in time? Got rid of those Yeah, you factory, made it. <laughs> you? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. What you don't know anyway, is that that scoop neck started its life as a V. <laughs> oh, no. Another flying Everything they say about this street is true. But yeah. You can't get enough of this, huh? Well. Now I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? So this guy will sell stuff at a discount to you. He only sells like basic healing items and shit, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes you do side quests, and some do just give you stuff for free or at a really steep discount. Hey, this look like a blood stain to you? Shit. Not always there? Huh. Don't know how we missed it during the inspection. Buy his and three clocks that, that don't exactly. agree what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you buy all three, might be able to have enough parts to make a good, one good one. The leader of the Rat Pack is the worst of them all. The loudest, most obnoxious. Squeak. Okay, you don't John like Sinatra, like I get it. told him to cut that shit out. I bet Johnny would have a Sinatra impression. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But yeah, now the Doom Rats are here. They're rats. Hell yeah. They're rats, but even fucking chunkier. Look at them. <laughs> like the size of an armadillo or something. <laughs> and the way they walk up right with their little Coming hands through. out. Oh, it's out so weird. Way. It's very good. Uh, bring it. Uh -huh. You're up. My turn. Yeah, Doom Rats actually kind of tough enemies at this point of the game. Yeah, I, like, you, I gotta learn how to stagger these boys. Yeah. Oh, by, by punching. Okay. Yeah, you just have to hit him with a high damage attack or hit him with ice. Uh, again, though, these guys run around a lot, so it can be kind of hard to hit him with, with ice unless you give him the stop in some way. Mm -hmm. um, they have a call to arms ability that just makes them summon even more Doom Rats. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they all have this dust cloud ability. They just kick up dirt at you, but it stun locks you. Uh, and if you're not guarding, it can actually do a decent amount of damage at you. There's the triple slash. Zooming around all over the place. <laughs> Keep it together. I got this. Yeah! Level her up both times. Now that we have some beefy enemies, we can really see her whole her whole chain of moves here. The, the glowy red particle fists, I think, are really good. <laughs> yeah. Just visually, I would never use the the triangle move just so I can keep the glowing red fists. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, there's a call to arms, but while he's screaming for more rats to come, good time to hit him with ice. Got it. It's on now. Bring it. But yeah, Tifa, Here we go. like I said, she, she kind of turns into a Platinum Games protagonist at a certain point. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not things you really need to learn how to do to make her efficient at dealing damage, but there are ways, like in Metal Gear Rising, to make her cancel a lot of her animations <laughs> so that you can deal out more attacks even faster than normal. You can't really do that with her right now because she doesn't have the moves that allow her to do that, but uh, yeah, she's a ton of fun to play. Well, Cloud's in the red. Oh no, Cloud! You got bitten by too many rats! <laughs> They're down! Finish them off! It's, all... it's a win, but... It's a win, but you got too many rat bites, buddy. <laughs> You're bleeding all over the place. 
That's definitely going to get infected. Yeah. I don't know if healing materia does anything about infections or germs. Hey, materia, bacteria, it it's it works. It's got to. Hmm. Or, or else they wouldn't call it that. I guess you're right. Also this lady. Huh? The new Loveless musical was absolutely brilliant. So was this different from the annual production? The finale's a touch different, but if you see it for yourself, you'll understand. It completely recontextualizes the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's about you and me get a room to play pin the tail? Pin the tail feather on the chocobo. I don't want to play that. Squawk? Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. I was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop... Oh man, it's my second sponsorship! Well, what do you say? Cloud is gonna have to replace his outfit with, like, a NASCAR driver <laughs> jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers, and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it! Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, that's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, a new merc in town in my little store. I can see it now. He's got the same We're welcome sign. Up. They both shop at Walmart. Yeah. So yeah, now that we uh, did that, he gives us five high potions, but also he's got new, some new shit in stock. High potions are on sale. Uh, and he's got a cleansing materia. That's how you get rid of infections. Ooh. Um, but yeah, the cleansing materia can give you spells to get rid of different types of status effects. Not super important yet, because we're basically only deal with dealing with poison, but mm -hmm. definitely good for later on. This favorite item shop is better than ever. Don't be a stranger. Drop on by your neighborhood item shop and check out. Yeah, new different stores will start. Their, their barkers will start having new slogans <laughs> because you helped them. So they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet. More like they want us to give up our way of life. Yeah. For anyone if we kill Fight the, the fighting the power. So the environmentalists <laughs> say. But I say people and their jobs and their families have to come first. Otherwise, what's the point? I support fantasy fracking. <laughs> what fucking planet are they going to live on, honey? <laughs> Where are they going to live? This disaster's cost a lot of folks their livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something to show the people they're on their side. At the end of the day, it's just a company. They're not on anyone's side but their own. Whoa, Damn. truth bomb. <laughs> I got my stimulus check. It was only 300 gil. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's not even enough for one month's rent. Look at that giant cable game. that just disappears under the ground. Ain't they shorthanded? Absolutely. But with the bombing and all, they're trying extra hard to recruit more people. Oh, the watch is stepping up their game. I thought there was a hey, sports class. team in, in need of help. <laughs> hey, Chadley. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I have determined the exact size, shape, and smell of the human soul. <laughs> I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Have you determined whether or not you want to kill me yet? <laughs> I am ready and willing to die. Would you like a diagram of my most vulnerable arteries? <laughs> It's all of them. I'm a little boy. <laughs> but yeah, we did one mission for him, and that got us a uh, a wind material. Now we got some wind magic. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, we've got a real killer on the loose, you see. Johnny. <gasps> a rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra Mutt gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. I got wind magic now. <laughs> it's still so funny to me that Weimer, the big side quest giver of this area, just stands on that little plate on the ground <laughs> like he's cursed and cannot move from that single spot. <laughs> I hear you so, so you're like an assassin? 
Where it is, Does you anyone got really need to hire <laughs> Where it is, you got rid of our oversized rat problem. Thanks. Next item on the Friends of Freshness agenda, the ongoing sewage problem. Can Do we not interrupt Shinra the Friends of Freshness, Tifa. <laughs> sewer system they perform a valuable service. Maze of giant rusty pipes. Any sort of maintenance would be a massive undertaking. They're the only people talking about the real problems. <laughs> They're worried about the fucking pipes. Come on. They're worried about environmental justice. No matter how hard I work, I've still got to hustle nonstop. One off or not, the pay's still dog shit, though. If they know you're from down here, they're gonna try to screw you over regardless. Yeah, one, one of the new additions, especially now that you spend more time... We can't get food. Uh, supplies from now that you spend more time in the Sector 7 slums, there's a lot more NPCs to listen to. Uh, I'm always distracted by that one texture that loads in less than the other. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> um, there's definitely stuff they they changed or or added writing wise that's just like well we live in 20 you know 16 2017 and while we're developing this now uh what's everybody mad about the gig economy <laughs> shit like that it's oh it's post 9 11 now hmm there's new things to write about what's the source of all life the life stream right what's a life stream I'm always quizzing my child and what is the source of all life <laughs> With you? Wait a minute, I remember no. you from the little tutorial oh. video on what okay. side quests are. <laughs> I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. I me charge 5,000 gil. <laughs> okay, let me tell you all about them. Also, I will they kill your friends. They have and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people would give them treats when they ask. Are they cryptids? And small spaces. <laughs> mm. oh, are yeah. they land and octopi? Oh, okay. Oh, they're cats. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Buy my friends, please. <laughs> what are you paying? Stupid kids' games are stupid. <laughs> you know what? When you're right, you're right. <laughs> Insightful. Nobody's here. <laughs> That's true. There's nobody there. Hey. Hey, that cat looks dead. Hmm. One, two, ready? One, I'm a big fan two, of this playground. One, two, one two, lots of cute, two, unique animations just for the kids playing yes. here, but well, also uh, I'm a big fan of, despite there being one adult watching over all these kids, there's two kids fucking fighting each other with rusty ass pipes. Yeah. <laughs> this kid, like, okay, sure, they're they're not, they're, they're going slow, one, but still. Two, be careful, children! <laughs> well, there's there's this new merchant in town that <laughs> fixes roofs and kills rats. They're they're inspired. Yeah. Really quizzing that kid about the source of all life. Looking for some fucking cats. Cloud does not strike me as a cat person or any type of animal person, really. Well, we've seen how he treats animals. Yeah. Nice young girl in that school ran off in the night. Probably with that punk boyfriend of hers. She even stuck a note on the door saying, "Don't come looking for me." There's always some gossip. In the watch, who's like a genius cat whisperer here? I bet it's Wedge. I could conversate with the little guys. It'd be funny if it's Big Stuff. Maybe it's a bear. It. Maybe he loves cats. Speaking of cats, uh, there's this this alley here that has a shitload of cats just hanging out. And they got little steps. <laughs> they got little steps for the cats to be on. They got a bunch of hey, good animation. Hey kid, if you're looking for cats, I found, a lot. found them. Found a lot of cats. I don't know if they're your cats, but if you're just looking for cats in general, this is the place, baby. We got shady spots. We got sunny spots. We got things to climb. We got cats. <laughs> Look at that one. It's moving. He fucking stands up. Look at him. Uh, it's a good cat. It's a really good cat. It's a good cat right there. 
Uh, I also greatly appreciate this game because there, there's definitely a fad in games right now because also it's good marketing for social media managers to go, look, you could pet the dog in our game, but they never do the same for cats. <laughs> so getting any amount of good cat representation, even if they just fucking are all over the place, is good in my book. I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. How can you tell her cats from other cats, aside from the fact that, like, a button prompt comes up? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, what's wrong with all those cats you saw? They were good cats. They were all great kitties. <laughs> One did a little dance. Some of them fucking, if you look at them long enough, they'll start rolling over and stuff. No it's great. What did Shinra do? Wait, did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's like, cats might the be The whole nearby. time you're getting a cat quest, I'm like, ah, I know the hard one. It's underneath the benches over by the... <laughs> no, that's an unrelated cat, isn't it? That's an unrelated cat. I, I, like, generally, you do notice the bright white cat in front of the seventh heaven because you have to walk by it anyways, mm -hmm. which is what made me think, oh, I bet that's the cat there. I have to go get. You gonna bless us with your cooking tonight? Yeah, this group of guys are specifically either they're talking about how they can't wait to eat food that Tifa makes, or they're Don't being very woke about the planet. <laughs> <laughs> or, or talking about how Barrett seems scary, but if you hang out with him, he's actually pretty chill. Hey, what are you doing in there? Come on out. Quality product makes a huge difference. Just... I'm trying to get a cat to come out. It snatched one of my pastries and scurried in there. I don't think Will you, you want that pastry anymore. I think the pastry is covered in cat spit now. Yeah, make another pastry. Just make another one. The third white cat of legend. <laughs> These cats are hoarding some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> the cats are gonna get so messed up on that. <laughs> You know what? Cats need to be more aggressive and alert. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> uh, screw this. Warp back to child? What's the source of all life? <laughs> <laughs> that triggers every time you walk by that lady. What? I love it. They ran away? So... Never gonna see them again? There's 3,000 cats here. Oh, wait, never mind. You guys! You came back! They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you! So the little girl can't really pay you much, so all you get is an item called a maiden's kiss. <laughs> I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. He says next oh. to three amazingly so beautiful cats. Huh? So yeah, the, the item that Betty gives you, a maiden's kiss, is an item that is used for curing a status effect that turns you into a toad. Hmm. You can get toaded in this game. You're the boy who fights for money. One of the ant Thanks a bunch for keeping our streets safe. Yeah, the, the, the Toad status effect uh, was something that popped up a lot in older Final Fantasies and kind of disappeared for a while. Uh, it mm -hmm. was called Frog in the original seven. Uh, but recently, they've started putting Toad into a lot of their, their games after they realized, hey, people think it's funny when you turn into a frog. <laughs> That's a good animated gif to use for marketing. Put it in the game, please. Even Walt Simonson recognizes the humor in being turned into a frog. You're not making this easy. I could put you in a fabulous new ensemble that would get everyone talking. I'm cool with my shoulder bolts, thank you. You built quite Use the reputation. This just has to lift the owner's spirits. Uh, Imagining that Cloud's easy. shoulder thing must have started falling apart, and that's why he Can drilled bolts into it. Because mm -hmm. it just, just looks like you're really gonna. On the plus side, he wasn't hurt. That's an accident waiting to happen at some point. Oh. Yeah, but imagine if he had Tifa's shoulder like check move. Oh man, extra damage. Anyways, we that guy who wanted us to beat up the the little the little Drakes. There's an even bigger Drake now. Hell yes. Seriously? I'm sorry, but it's outside our jurisdiction. Show some spine. Uh, yes, sir. Ma'am, if you don't leave at once, I will be forced to arrest you. 
Oh yeah? Go ahead! But sir... Tifa, you won't believe this. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like they got peanut butter on their gums or something. <laughs> it's kind of like Mass Effect 2 level lip flaps sometimes. You, the new Merc. Then maybe you can help us out. The Drake is in the old Telegraph factory over there. But to reach it, you'll need to get a hold of a watch security key. You should be able to find one inside one of the crates. I forget which. Just smash them all. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Okay. Gonna, can we discuss payment first? Pest control is not our responsibility, so stop asking. My duty is to protect Shinra's interests, and that is all. Move along, citizen. Shinra have any interest in not getting eaten by a drake? <laughs> this really isn't a good time. What was that? Do your job. Y yes, sir. I'm on duty. Don't fraternize with civilians. Yeah, yes, sir. You will re respect my authority, or else I I I'll give you what for. Uh, what does he think you're trying to ask him? <laughs> you want to join our terrorist organization? <laughs> it's for the good of the capital P planet. That is a thing they kind of kept from the original two. Uh, the, this planet does have a name, mm -hmm. but people just generally refer to it as the planet. Also, that crate always has that key. That the key? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not random. Um, but yeah, the planet is just called Gaia. <laughs> Earth. It might as well be called the planet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, and this... this song that's playing uh, a new song for the remake uh it is it is the uh it's avalanche's theme hmm do 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 gonna make some things glow more oh man i love making my stuff glow more speaking of glowing uh w there's this upgrade here that just increases your maximum hp like the rest of the upgrades on weapons that is that only applies if you have that weapon equipped mm -hmm. so there are some weapons that can help give you a ton of extra HP and some that don't really do much. So that's a that's a factor you have to think about when deciding what weapon you're going to use, because sometimes you might put one on that's really strong, but your health tanks compared to whatever you have currently equipped. <laughs> also, since we're going to be fighting a big old dragon, it's time to equip that wind magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind magic is probably the element I use the least in this game, and probably everyone else as well. There's just not nearly as much stuff weak to wind as there is every other element. Mm -hmm. The wind spell also kind of works a little bit like the ice spell. You don't shoot it towards enemies. It's not a projectile. When you cast wind, it just appears where the enemy is. But like the ice spell, it does a little bit of damage when it is first cast. Then like a split second later, it detonates and does the majority of its damage. So like the ice spell, it's kind of hard to hit some enemies, especially some flying enemies that are really fast. Yeah, yeah. Also, her dive kick has a decent amount of like... It doesn't really home in on enemies, but if you use dive kick and the enemies behind you, she will just about face in midair and still hit them. <laughs> she just doesn't go in the direction you're facing. It also seems really effective against bugs because you step on them. Yeah. Ah. Bugs hate to be dive kicked. <laughs> That's what I should have done when that big fucking praying mantis was in my, my apartment a while ago. One of the many ways this game is realistic. <laughs> I really like the bad lip flaps, actually. Because <laughs> this game is so, like, ridiculously polished, you know, and yeah. everything uh, is meant to be so immersive, and the, there's all this Here I go. constantly dynamic right chatter you. everywhere. But there's something that's just so video game about it. Yeah. You're it's, out. uh... Like, the, the way this game is structured, even, is not adhering to general RPG stuff in that it's not a giant open-world thing. It's still doing its own thing, and in that regard, it feels like you're playing an older game. Because there aren't a lot of games that are structured like this anymore. Mm-hmm. 
by the way, this Cerulean Drake, um, obviously you want to hit wind spells with them. They can conjure up an ability that makes like icy winds, like an aura surround them, so that when you're near Ooh. them, you just take constant damage from it. There's also that green text uh, even further below that says, enemy skills can be learned from this monster. If we look at all of its abilities, there's one called Icy Aura that's highlighted green. We can't mm -hmm. do it yet, but there is a materia you can get later on that lets you learn abilities from monsters. Hey, that's cool. If you scan an enemy and they have a green ability, you want to be on the lookout for that and try to get them to use that so you can learn it and use it for yourself. This was something from the original game, too. It was the enemy skill materia. Uh, and it was oh, it was always so fun to, to learn enemy abilities. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of... There, there, were, there was a job in some... Or class in some earlier Final Fantasies called a Blue Mage, and that's essentially what they were. They would just use enemy skills. Mm -hmm. So the Cerulean Drake, it flies around everywhere. Hard to hit with wind. What you want to do is wait for it to start casting an ability, because it has to stay in place to do that. And that's how you can hit a lot of more maneuverable enemies with spells that can easily miss. Uh, just wait for them to start casting some type of spell or ability. Pretty easy to hit them all of a sudden. Sector 7 should definitely get a basketball team. Right? Because y'all can jump 40 feet in the air. <laughs> Tifa can go real fucking high. Would kill for a shower. I'm covered in fucking dragon goop now. <laughs> like blood squirted all over me. Here is the head of the Drake. <laughs> and there he is. I knew you were the right man for the job. There's no denying you're the real deal. Not like these idiots with their excuses. Rather have one of you than 20 of them. I could kill They're 20 of them. Their jobs. Can't expect them to be at your beck and call. What exactly is it you're trying to say, Merc? You need people who can follow orders, too. I see now. Heard you were ex-Shinra. Guess I shouldn't be surprised you'd go to bat for your old buddies. <laughs> do you, do you want a kiss? I'm just looking out for my people. All there is to it. Hell with you. We can take care of this town ourselves. No more mercs or Shinra. We'll build up the watch and kick you all out. Look, I was a part of the Shinra union, and they kind of indoctrinate you while you're in there. <laughs> it's really hard to not view these guys as my buddies, even as I kill hundreds of them. Yeah, she gives you a second star bracelet. Hey. So if you want to wait, you can get it for free and not spend like 1,600 gil on one. But I wanted mm -hmm. that extra slot earlier so I could, one, use more, more material and start leveling more stuff up earlier. More slots, more leveling up. But you can give it to your buddies now. It's true. You can give your best friend Barrett a best friend bracelet. Hmm. I might do that, actually. Uh, just as a quick little extra... Uh, we've run around the majority of sector, the Sector 7 slums now. So uh, if you want to take a look at what it looked like in the original, this is all of it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's four buildings. There's one house, a bar, a tutorial house, and a store. And also that, that little Lego dude with the red hair. That's Johnny. Oh, Johnny. How, are, how would they render your three-stripe beard in, <laughs> in such a way? Yeah. A lot more drunk in the original, but... <laughs> Johnny's a moonshiner. Yeah. Yeah, Sector 7, very tiny. Very cute. <laughs> 